Hello, world. I have a gun again. This is a 22 break action rifle. This is pretty much the gun that I firmly believe every everyone should own, at least if rifles are your thing. Um, if not, there should be a pistol variant of this that everyone should own. So, as you can see, on a break action, there's no magazine. It's There's um, usually not a pistol grip, but some of them do come with pistol grips. Uh, this one actually came with rails. Some of them don't even have rails. Uh, it's just sights, and it's just a small, usually a youth-sized, but this one is a youth-sized rifle. Uh, this one's in 22 long rifle, but they can be chambered in just about anything, and usually you can buy other barrels. I've tried to buy another barrel for this one, but uh, the, we ran into some complications on that. For some reason, these rifles are not as popular as they used to be. I'm a firm believer that they should be like the number one rifle. They should be stocking shelves. They should be everywhere, especially in states where if, with like California that are trying to make them illegal. Oh yeah, some people are trying to make these illegal. I don't know why. They think it's an assault weapon. But anyway, um, it's just a fun little rifle. Uh, let's go into its features. So, when you first get this rifle, it's pretty much ready right out of the box. You just pick it up, take it right out to the range. And to load it, you push that down. You grab your shells, which I'm going to use dummies for this little demonstration. Fun tip, if you take two uh, top, top of soda bottles, glue them together, it makes a little ammo container, or a pill container, or whatever it is you like to carry around in your pockets. But you take your real bullet, which this is a dummy, don't worry, safety first, this is a dummy. You stick it in there to, to where it catches, catches the extractor, and then you chamber the round, put it into battery, or I, te I guess technically this wouldn't be called putting it into battery, but that's what I'm going to call it, because I'm a good enough kind of guy. It's single action, so you have to cock your hammer back. You cock the hammer back with your thumb, you turn the safety off, which in this case I'm going to leave the safety on, and then you pull the trigger. Now what's amazing is because this gun cannot be opened while it's cocked back, this gun you can actually still fire the hammer with the safety on. It just will not engage the firing pin and will not cause the round to fire, which is awesome. I love that sound. Now here's the part where you might have a little difficulty with this rifle, and I look. I love abusing this. Go to your local gun range with this rifle. Find the guy with the AR-15. Find the guy with the AK. Find the guy with the pump action shotgun. Find the Call of Duty bro. Dude, I just got my gun two years ago. Yeah! Find him. Hand him this rifle. You'll be surprised how quickly he'll pick it up and just load a bullet in. He's going to hold that rifle right up to his face. He's going to aim. He's going to pull the trigger. And he'll want to put in the next round real quickly. And this is what he's going to do. my favorite thing in the whole world. You fire this gun a few hundred times first so that round's nice and hot when it comes out. <laughs> It'll plink you right in the face. So how you're actually supposed to do it is you're supposed to load in the round. I'm not going to actually do it because that one rolled off the table. Fire. You then turn the rifle slightly. Keep that barrel pointed down range and then go ahead and fire it out. That way it doesn't hit you in the face or you could point it down a little ways and fire it over you, but you'll likely get it in someone's shirt that way. Either way, just note that the shell is going to come flying back at you. Uh, it's a fun little rifle. This one came with um, very nice uh, illuminating sights, the red and the green, and the light goes through them so you can see them very well. Its safety is not a tang safety, and uh, I love that about this gun. I hate tang safeties. I, I want to just ignore tang safeties altogether, but this is a switch safety, which is a little bit more tolerable. Personally, I think guns shouldn't have safety on them because the only safety in the world is actually right here between your ears. It's your brain. But um, let's come a little closer. Go ahead and look down at the bench for takedown. So, screen wipe. Oh, good. So now you guys are in front of me again, which means I have to awkwardly hold the gun while also holding the camera in between my legs and stuff, and it's, it's a little funny. 
So I'll let you let a good get you a good look at this gun. The stock is all polymer, no wood, but it's okay for stocks to be polymer. I'm not a big once it's on a rifle, I'm not really that against plastic. This uh, grip thing up here is polymer too. The sights are just your basic little uh, replaceable plastic light sights that you gotta stick in and take your lighter and pocket knife to, and you know how to do it. But it actually does have rails on it, which are just Picatinny rails. You can stick any old optic on there. I elected for no optic because this gun is frankly more fun without it. You really don't need to be shooting that far with this anyway. <clears throat> There's your takedown. It is single action. So, for taking this gun apart for cleaning, it's super easy. This is actually not just a thing for your sling, it's also the takedown pin. And I love that about this gun. There is no screws, there's no Phillips heads, it's just right out in the field if there's something wrong with this thing and you have to take it apart, you can. Once that's unscrewed, just pop it right off. And the whole gun just, it literally just pops right apart. So now here's your stock. Stark is now taken down. Here's your barrel. Now for cleaning, there is only two important things for cleaning this gun, and that's why I think everyone on earth should own this gun. You should own this gun right off the bat, and I think it should be one of the first guns you ever own. Because for cleaning, there are only two things to remember. It is run your bore snake or your bore rods or whatever it is you use through here. And if it's a bore snake, you don't have to worry as much. You just pull it through. But if it's a bore rod, you pull it through, and then you reach over with your hand and very carefully guide it back in. Because this little muzzle part, um, the part that's the last part to touch the bullet as it's, ent as it's exiting, if you damage this at all or nick it or crack it, especially with 22 long rifle, you can cause gas to escape in a weird way as the bullet flies out. You could cause it to always favor that one side and over multiple cleanings and over aging you'll notice this gun will pull more to one side more and more especially with how short the barrel is and especially with the round it's shooting 22 long rifle it's going to start pulling to the left or to the right or to the down or up more and more as you continue to damage this so if you can mitigate that damage during cleaning by just grabbing it with your fingers and unscrewing your tip or just pulling it all the way through with your hand uh, boar snake style that'll change things immensely. Also, your extractor needs to be blown out with some air every now and then. Uh, try to keep this extractor spring as tough and as gunk-free as possible. If you can keep that gunk-free and keep those rounds flying out of it, uh, the performance of this rifle will greatly be improved because you'll be able to load a new round. If you ever have to take your fingernail or a pocket knife and dig the round out, there's something wrong. you got to clean that. So this is the important part, and honestly, this is the most replaceable part of your rifle. Um, if you buy a new one of these, you can get it chambered in uh, shotgun slugs, you can chamber it in 410, uh, maybe in 12 gauge if you want to be crazy. You can chamber it in 357 Magnum, you can chamber it in 38 Special. I've even seen people want to get these in 9mm and stuff. They're great little rifles. A lot of fun. And it's really fun to get them in different rounds so that you have options. This is just polymer, it's just plastic. Not much anything special to it, though technically, if you were out in a survival situation, there's nothing saying you couldn't stick some uh, bullets down in there. And then, especially with 22 long rifle, just go ahead and stick your gun back together. Sure, you'll hear a little bit of rattling as it's operating, but I mean, you gotta survive, you gotta survive. Uh, they make all kinds of rifles like this, but this one's a lot of fun. So, time for reassembly. For reassembly, you're going to notice there's a little ball, or not a ball, a rod down in there, a little round rod. And all that rod does is it engages with this right here. So you engage the two together, and you put it back in battery. Technically, the gun's ready to fire right now. You could, you could realistically lose this and just continue to fire this gun zombie apocalypse style with this little nub but I wouldn't suggest it because it would get hot. And then you put this back on there. And then you take your screw, or your takedown whatever it is, takedown pin, whatever this is, and you just thread that in there. Be gentle, don't cross-thread it. You don't have to be forceful, be patient. 
And once that's tightened, your gun is right back ready to go. And there is the 22 breakdown rifle. They make these in all kinds of different variants and all kinds of different companies, but this one just happens to be mine. They're super fun. I hope to get one. One day I honestly hope to get one of these in uh, some bigger rounds. If I could get this in Smith & Wesson 500, that would be great. Or if even I could get a barrel for this in Smith & Wesson 500 and maybe blow my shoulder off trying to shoot it, that might be fun. But uh, this was Timber 22, and this was just my quick little let's look at review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy these reviews. I hope you enjoy these looks at uh, just common firearms. And <clears throat> I guess for now... I'm going to be saying bye-bye.